So this is the new exhaust system for the R80ST. That's the left header and the right and then this is the collector box that the two headers plug into and then this is the rear muffler which plugs into the collector box right here. This particular muffler is actually for an R80GS but it will work on the R80ST. So this is how all the parts go together and you can see how the header pipes are plugging into the collector box and the rear muffler plugs in. Now these two are header pipe clamps that will go on here and this is the muffler clamp that will go on there. So these are the exhaust pipe uh, header assembly. This is the nut that screws into the spigot on the head and there are two sealing rings. Now one of those rings has a uh, split in it and the other is solid and both have a taper and a flat. Now the solid one fits inside like that and then the one with the split its taper mates up with the taper on the solid one so when you tighten the nut it squeezes the split ring tight around the exhaust pipe header. So that's how those work. Now the muffler attaches up here and down here on the frame. So I'm going to start installing the exhaust system by hanging the muffler on the frame. The uh, upper bracket on the muffler has a bolt and it fits through this little rail underneath the uh, tube here on the rear subframe and the bottom bracket goes through the bolt that holds the bottom of the subframe to the frame. Now to make it easier to get the left header pipe on I used a bungee cord to pull out the side stand because the header pipe is going to slide right up close to the engine block and it's harder to get it in there with the side stand retracted. Now before I install the header nuts on the threaded spigot on the head I use anti-seize to apply it to the threads. They're aluminum and it's easy for them to gall but the anti-seize will make it a lot easier to remove the header nut in the future without damaging these threads. To install the header pipes I started by getting this end just into the collector and then the other end into the head and then I loosely tightened up the nut to hold it and went to the other side and installed the other one. Now what I found is that it was uh, difficult to push the pipe all the way into the head and all the way into the collector. So what I did was I used a uh, 2x4 and a plastic mallet and I put the 2x4 about here, hit it with the mallet and drove the header pipe all the way into the head and I did that on both sides and uh, there's a little bit of a bulge on the pipe but it's now almost entirely inside the nut which I believe means that that pipes all the way seated now. So I use the special header nut wrench and it fits into the little flutes around the edge of the nut and I lean on it and get it good and snug on both sides. Now on the left side you can see that the pipe just barely clears the bracket for the side stand and then runs into the collector with the clamp here. And on the right side there's a lot more clearance. The pipe does end up below where the oil filter uh, cover goes so you can get to the oil filter and runs all the way back and then into the collector again with the uh, clamp. 
So, the exhaust system is installed. I still have to put the uh, heat shield over the exhaust pipe. And I'm going to do that when I get the side covers back from the painter because they have to align. And I'll adjust the uh, exhaust pipe here on the brackets accordingly so I can get everything to align and fit correctly. Now the left rear foot peg mounts on this bracket on the bottom of the muffler and the bolt just goes through with the nut behind it. And there's a view from the front with the two header pipes running along the frame.